Hello and welcome to this first tutorial series of Mobbing Cube. In this series of 20 video tutorials, you will learn how to use and move around Mobbing Cube's workspace. Also, you will learn how to develop most of the available features. After this series, you will be able to build stunning apps on your own. The objective of this series is to explain how to build from scratch an app. In order to explain this, we will create a van rental app with the following screens and functionalities. First screen, a main screen. This screen we will use as loading page, displaying offers and a quick call link. The about screen, we will use it in order to present the company through a text and image type of content. A map screen, holding tags of all the different company branches. A hire or contact form in order to allow the user to hire the listed services. A coupon screen, which allows the user to have an affiliation discount card. Through the fleet screen, the user will be able to navigate through the different vehicles we have available. The detail screen. Each time a customer selects a vehicle, he will be able to see in detail view all the different features for this vehicle. Ok, without any further introduction, let's log in and get started. Insert your username and password and click on start session. We will be directed to my app panel. From this app panel, you can create, delete or access your existing apps. Place the mouse over the plus icon and type in a name for your app. Once selected the name, click on create app. You'll be directed to the info panel for this app. From this panel, you can see the hired services for this app. Hire new services or added basic data. Next thing to do is to access the addition mode and start building. Go to the superior navigation bar and, and click on the addition link. When entering the addition mode, a black pop-up screen appears. This screen guides you through the different features. If you don't wish this screen to appear, just click on do not show again and click on X. By default, each time we start with a new app, a main screen has been created for us. But this screen hasn't got any functionality assigned to it. So we must choose one from the 10 available types of screen. This we must do each time we create a new screen in our app. Our main screen will be used as the loading page or home page. For this we will use the detailed type of screen, so let's click on that and accept. Once we assign a type of functionality to a screen, we are directed to the addition mode for that type of screen. This space is different according to what type of screen we've chosen, so it will show different functionalities on a detail screen, map screen, etc. Well, this is all for this first part. In our second tutorial, we will start building our main screen. Thank you for watching.